Hey fellow a &P nerds, welcome to my YouTube channel, coming at you from a &P Nerd Headquarters, because where else would we be? As some of you may already know from watching other videos in my channel, a &P Nerd Headquarters is not actually a physical location, it's a state of mind because a &P nerdiness is around us all the time. Who am I? Well, of course, I'm your favorite YouTube A&P professor. I know, that's a little bit of a stretch. Maybe not your favorite, but would you at least give me top five? I'll take top five. But, that being said, I've created this video just to give you a little bit of information about the channel for those of you who don't know already. So primarily, I designed this YouTube channel to help traditional anatomy and physiology students with their first and second semesters of lab. So I have a whole bunch of videos right here in the channel that you can watch. First, showing you a lab lesson like this or like this, where I teach you things about individual labs. And then I've also included practice lab videos where you can practice taking quizzes like this, like this, and some lab practical exams that you can practice, like this one, and like this one. So hopefully everyone watching this channel can get plenty of use out of these things. It's just another amongst many resources that you might have to help you succeed in A&P. But since I've created this channel, I've had some students ask me, much like my in-person students do, what's the secret to getting an A in A&P? How do I get an A in A&P? What's required to get a great grade in anatomy and physiology? And you can find many things, and YouTube tends to recommend up close face pictures, as a thumbnail, something like this, something like this, and somebody can tell you the big secret to getting a good grade in anatomy and physiology. Well, let me clue you in. Here's the big secret. Study. I know that sounds a little simplistic, but that is what is required. Those of you in an anatomy and physiology course know that there are many, many things you have to know. And the only way to know them is to study them. That being said, how you study it is, of course, the big thing. The same study method doesn't work for every single person, so you have to find one that works for you. I've had lots of requests. People have asked me, would you please post some lecture things in the YouTube channel? I know it's called Professor A&P Lab, but they've asked me, would you put some lectures up here? So what I'm planning to do is to include some what I'll call little lectures, not full-blown hour and 20-minute lectures like my in-person students would have. You have your own A&P professors for that, but maybe some little snippets, some little ideas, some little demos, maybe like this, or something like this. Something like this one, where I show people how to draw an anatomical structure, and maybe I'll talk about it a little bit and explain some things to know. So, if these are things you would like to see, Hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel. Let me know you'd like to see them by subscribing because if people don't want to see them, of course, I won't spend all the time editing the video. And trust me, with YouTube's regulations, it's the editing that takes a lot of time. But I'm happy to put some of these things up. Again, I'll call them little lectures, little lectures for the first semester of A&P, little lectures for the second semester of A&P, little study ideas, little not really tricks, but maybe ways to look at things with a little bit of explanation from me. 
So, so I'll create and edit these little lectures as well as I can. No longer using the old headset microphone, so I won't sound, you know, up close and personal like some sort of golf commentator. I actually have a new, you know, more like a studio microphone to use, so maybe the sound quality would be a little more like a normal lecture. I did not go out and buy one of those fancy ring lights to enhance or soften my features. As my lecture students can tell you, this is just the way I look. But you won't be seeing that much of me in these little lectures. Instead, you'll see me drawing a picture, maybe trying to give you some visual representations of things, maybe some study ideas that you can use. Hopefully you will enjoy some of these things and maybe find some study ideas that work for you. So feel free to like the videos, but this is an academic channel, so liking them might be asking a lot, but go ahead and subscribe and that way when I post something, you'll see it come up. Maybe, knock on wood, hopefully you'll find some little nuggets here that you can use to improve your scores in anatomy and physiology. So thanks for your time and keep watching the channel.